Lifer Tribe. It's your girl, Stay Hall. Welcome to yet another vlog. And I think this one is just gonna be a daily vlog because we have a lot to do today. So tomorrow, my husband and I are gonna be getting on the road, headed to Mobile. I'm going to go visit my sister, my brother-in-law, my niece, and my nephew. Um, spend a few days with the family, just relaxing, hanging out. Um, my niece just recently graduated from high school, so congratulations, Ayana. We are going to be celebrating her on Saturday, so I'm just super excited. But um, you know, when you're getting on the road or however, whatever mode of transportation you're using, because Wallace loves at least one good road trip per year, so we're gonna be getting on the road about a nine hour drive, but you gotta prepare. So I'm just gonna hang out with y'all today while I take care of business so that we can hit the road tomorrow. So uh, we gotta get a manicure and a pedicure, we gotta pack, um, just do all the things. So welcome to the vlog, and if this is your first time, hey, please hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you as a part of the Lifer Tribe. So. All right, let's get this day started, y'all. All right, y'all, so I've made it to the nail salon and I was like, you know what? Let me jump on and talk to my people real quick before I get in here because it seems like the last couple of weeks I've been going to the nail salon every week but if y'all remember it was because my nails were breaking and chipping like right after I got them done so this time I actually need to get them done because I have a lot of new growth so um, yeah I'm not that uh, high maintenance I don't have to get my nails done every week but there's just been some issues and look the parking lot is not too packed so oops why am I showing y'all me the parking lot is not too packed that's so funny I turned around to look at the parking lot and thought y'all automatically could turn around too. But yeah, so hopefully, I didn't make an appointment once again, so hopefully it won't be a long wait. pedicure are done I mean I was in there for like two and a half hours but they did a great job I got my signature color well I guess it's not my signature color because it's Tiffany blue so Tiffany had it first but I love it um, got a you know full manicure full pedicure um, the whole deal so what I didn't realize is what I've been doing with getting my um, dip polish or whatever a manicure is not included so I had all this like y'all know I'm not a girly girl so I don't know when my cuticles are looking bad or there's dry skin it's just like whatever so she pointed it out to me today and I did see it and what she was talking about so she was like do you also want a manicure and I'm like oh well, I'm getting a dip and she's like well that doesn't include the manicure had no idea so I don't know if that's typical but um yeah I have to Oops, pay more attention to that because I thought I've been getting a manicure. So, yeah, silly me. I guess everything is a la carte these days. So now I am walking down to Old Navy because the ladies have been talking about Old Navy a lot. I have not shopped in Old Navy probably since my kids were little. And y'all know my youngest is 20. So I have not shopped in Old Navy in a long time. But I have like shorts I'm taking with me on this trip, but they are, um, and I've been dragging my feet, I just noticed that that sound is probably driving y'all crazy, but um, they're all like denim shorts. So I'm looking to see if maybe there's some looser, flouncier shorts, um, you know, that aren't just quite so heavy. So from what I've been seeing on different vlogs and on Instagram, it looks like Old Navy might be, you know, the place. And so, 
I decided to walk because I'm in the same shopping center and y'all can see it's a nice little walk but getting my steps in no need to get in the car and drive down here and be lazy let me get my steps in because I didn't do any type of workout today or shoot I don't even remember the last time I did do a workout so who are we kidding here let me get my steps in but yeah so we're headed to Old Navy y'all to see what they got going so I can get back home and do some packing pass some back but at them body works they still have their sale going on but I'm gonna try not to stop in there on the way back because I don't need a thing from Bath and Body Works. So. Okay guys, so Old Navy did not disappoint. Um, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing because I didn't need to buy anything, just wanted. But I'll show y'all when I pack, but I did get some little um, white flouncy shorts, kind of the way I want it, really light, not heavy, because I don't want to have all denim shorts. And then I got this cute little just tank top dress that I'll probably travel in because I can wear like my an open denim shirt over it or something because you know traveling you're in and out of the car you're hot you're cold you want to be comfortable you don't want anything binding around the waist and it is going to be like a 10 hour drive so um and it's perfect just I'm probably going to wear my little um Sherpa Tory Burch slide so um they're really comfortable and they're also warm but at the same time your feet are out so yeah just all the things because I definitely want to be comfortable because I am not a car trip type of woman so this is not going to be um the most fun for me but like I said my husband likes the drive so um I give him that at least once a year when we make a trip so um yeah, so I want to be as comfortable as possible. So now um, I'm going to head to the UPS store. Almost forgot I needed to do that, but the good thing is once I got in the car, this little package in the front seat reminded me that I need to stop. This is just an Amazon return. It's called the Shorty. It's um, a camera suction cup thing for your car. So whenever I want to talk to you guys when I'm driving, but the way my dash is set up in my car, it's not really working so my husband tried but I have a really small dash so yeah just wasn't working wasn't conducive for what I needed it to do so we're going to continue to look and um you know whatever and also for when I do videos like this I don't have to hold the camera but this didn't work so it's going back so yeah we're headed to the UPS store it back home um I think I told you in the car that uh Old Navy was a win um I left some stuff behind because I really could have bought way more than I did so um yeah I've been sleeping on Old Navy for a while but I will be back but anyway it is finally time to um decide what I'm gonna take like for real for real because we're leaving in the morning so I've kind of been pulling stuff throughout the weekend and I bought some stuff and you know how that goes so i have to make my decisions because we are taking my car um to kind of save on gas it's only the two of us um we're not going to be doing a whole lot while we're there um you know as a group or anything because normally we'll try to take the suv so we can all ride together but we're kind of going to kind of be chilling this time around so we decided to take my car which is a lot smaller um then Wallace is just SUV and so I have to be a lot more intentional about what I pack um because I can't take a ton of stuff because I don't want to be riding around looking like the Beverly Hillbillies with tons of crap in my back seat so I have to be intentional so anyway I am taking my 
heavy on the protecting my peace graphic tee that I got from Amazon. I know I didn't pay more than like 20 bucks for this, probably like 15. I've gotten a couple of these that say different things. So comfortable, super stretchy. They wash well and they give a good message. And so with that, I'm just going to wear this cute little t-shirt type skirt. Comes right below the knee. Really cute to wear like with um, slides, which that's what I'm going to do. Or even sneakers, flip-flops, whatever. So kind of cute just a t-shirt and t-shirt skirt. But, you know, I guess you could take it up a notch from just wearing shorts and a t-shirt, I guess. But yeah, just something comfortable for, you know, whatever we're going to be doing. Just sitting around, cooking outside, you know, doing a game night, whatever. Just something to throw on. And I love my little Steve Madden slides with the pop of bright orange that's what i'm gonna be rocking with this so super comfortable super cute um let's see here now i did get my little satin short set from target it came yesterday i tried it on it fits this is the one i was telling y'all about i think in the last vlog that um sharika b had on in her vlog and i thought it was so cute i went to target and you know what that was probably in my other vlog with my husband the hallway so if you're not already following the hallway and not subscribed, please go ahead and as soon as you're done with this video, check out the hallway because it's fun over there too. But anyway, we um, went to Target and I was looking mainly for the Tabitha Brown collection and the Target we went to, it was just like not much available at all. Um, and I also wanted this little short set, which is by a new day and they didn't have this either like they had the top and not the shorts or the sizes or colors didn't match so I ended up having to order it and it came yesterday so we are going like to an open mic night karaoke but it's not like at a super dressy type of place but I don't want to go just like in jeans and a t-shirt either so I thought this would be cute to wear there with the um with the little shorts and I'll probably do this little Gucci bag with it and y'all I am not good with the names of these bags and stuff so it's just my cute little Gucci bag with the chain straps and I think I'll do my Tory Burch aged Camelo I guess it's Camelo I don't know uh flip flop so I think that'll be cute together because these match the leather trim on this bag like really well so and I think that color also looks good with this color so when we go to the open mic karaoke uh evening i think that'll be good and of course i brought all my shoes in in the boxes but i will not be packing them in the boxes because i have to save space let's see what else am i gonna do oh my little fourth of july outfit so we have decided that we are not celebrating the fourth of july so to speak um you know just with everything that's going on in our nation and just the um realization of so many people that things just aren't the same for the people for people of color they never were and they still aren't so we do now have juneteenth which we did observe june juneteenth to the fullest so we are going to kind of carry it through to uh the fourth of july so we're still gonna you know, barbecue, pool time, whatever. But I got um, myself a cute little outfit for that day. So these are just some um, little camo shorts that I actually got at Sam's Club. And again, if you subscribe to the hallway, you would have seen me doing these with the um, scan and go while we were in Sam's. I think these were like $14.99. And they fit so cute. They're called social standard by sanctuary they have stretch in them not too long not too short just super cute and i got myself a cute little t-shirt to go with them so it's my little you know fourth of july not fourth of july celebrate us with melanin on the fourth of july and i think that's going to be cute with my little camo shorts and I got some cute little Uggs that I think, like I love doing camo with um, different patterns and uh, pops of color, like just not the norm. So I love camo with red. I actually have some camo 
jogger pants that have a red stripe down the side. So they might get rocked with that t-shirt, you know, once we get into fall. But um, yeah, I'm gonna wear my little Uggs with it. These are so cute, so comfy. And these are like the indoor outdoor with the hard bottom. So this will be what I'm wearing on the fourth. So I think that'll be cute. The t-shirt, can y'all see that still? The t-shirt, cute, right? Cute, cute, cute little something to throw on just for us to hang out. Uh, what else? What else? What else am I going to take? So I did pick up a couple of things from Old Navy today. Didn't need anything, so. <sighs> God bless me. Thank me. Thank y'all. But I think I'm going to travel in this tomorrow. So this is just a cute little tank top dress. It was $34.99, but then it was 30% off. So it is nice and heavy, but not like a hot heavy material. It's just like regular ribbed tank top material, but it's super comfortable. I tried it on while I was there. It comes like mid calf, has the slits on the side. And I like things like this to travel because um, I think I said it earlier in the video when I was telling y'all about what I picked up from Old Navy, but it's just like nothing that's going to be restricting. I'm going to be in the car for 10 hours, so I don't want anything restricting. And then I also want something that I can layer. So I have a cute little denim shirt jacket that I'll probably put on with this. And then when I don't need the jacket, I'll just tie it around my waist. And then I have my little uh, Sherpa. Tory Burch slides, which I think will be perfect with this. That's cute, right? And I think my bag, my go-to bag for the trip is just going to be this one here. Just the LV Neverfull because that is definitely a catch-all. Goes with just about everything. And I'm um, just good to carry your bottle of water, your camera, you know, all the things. So that'll go with this with just the little dark denim uh, shirt jacket so and these are really cool because they're comfy they are the cloud then they have the Sherpa so they're warm but your feet are still out so yeah this is gonna be my little travel outfit and let's see what else are we oh oh Navy I'm not finished with that yet so I told y'all my original reason for going into Old Navy was to find some little flouncy shorts that weren't denim so Old Navy did not disappoint and these were on sale for $15. So I got these. They have pockets, front and back, little drawstring. Tried these on because um, I knew I normally don't try on in the store, but with leaving in the morning and the Old Navy's right here by the house, um, I'm like, let me try them on. And then that way I don't have to worry about, you know, bringing them back if they don't fit or whatever. So these fit perfectly got a size medium in these I got a large in the dress because um, I didn't even take a medium into the dressing room because the material seemed a little clingy so I have plenty of room probably could have done a medium but I don't want anything too form-fitting because again it was about having that room but these I got in the medium they fit nice and then I found this cute little top to go with them isn't that cute y'all cute little top and it kind of comes out a little bit not quite a peplum but it does come out so I'm gonna wear that and I thought my Gucci flip-flops would be cute just with that to bring in the little pop of color so I love red just a pop of red with black and white so I think these will be cute I'll probably do these like I said my um, niece graduated um, and so we weren't all together. So we're doing a little graduation party for her while we're there. So this will probably be my little graduation party outfit. Just, you know, something to throw on because we'll be there at the house. Um, she uh, wanted a Mexican fiesta type theme and Mexican food. So I thought this was kind of, you know, had that little Latin flair a little bit. So that will be that outfit with my little flip flops. I think that'll be cute. So what else? What else? What else? Oh, I am also taking my other little Ugg uh, shoes. So I've taken a lot of shoes. But these are just regular denim shorts. Just denim distressed shorts. And this little t-shirt. My husband loves when I wear this t-shirt for some reason. He just thinks this is just like so cute. So this is just going to be an outfit for whenever. I don't know. You know, I don't have anything particular planned. But I love my little uh, 
a slides. Well, these are like, well, not slides, but whatever. So I'm going to wear this. This will probably be what I put on when we hang out Sunday. Um, you know, we're going to look at some properties because we are thinking about possibly purchasing property there in Mobile. If you have never been to Mobile, Alabama, it is really a cool place to visit. Um, it's just so laid back, just so relaxing. Every time I go there, I love it more and more. And then it's just like centrally located. Like you're a hop, skip and a jump from Florida, a hop, skip and a jump from Louisiana and New Orleans. Just like here where I live in Dallas, Fort Worth, you can't just do an easy, like spur of the moment impromptu spontaneous trip you know as far as driving you jump in the car here and drive for 10 hours in texas and you're just somewhere else in texas like you have to be like really planning and ready to drive i mean unless you're just trying to go to like oklahoma but i love and miss living in places where you can really go somewhere different in the car in just a matter of a couple of hours so i love where my sister and my brother-in-law live because they're right there so close to the Gulf and just, you know, it just seems really laid back and vacation-y and, you know, whatever. So I enjoy it there. So we're going to look at some properties while we're there and we're going to do that, I believe, on Sunday morning. So this is probably what I will throw on Sunday morning and again, be carrying my Never Fool. I also, you know, I'm going to take my little lounge LV pajamas you know, for whenever we want to watch some Netflix or, you know, do whatever, just chill in the house because we do a lot of that too. I love visiting with my sister and my brother-in-law because it's so easy. Like they like doing the same kind of things we like doing, but there's none of that pressure of an itinerary or an agenda. We got to do this. We got to do that. Like if we just want to stay in our room for half the day, like they're good with that. If we you know, whatever, like, it's just so easy. It's not that like, um, you know, is everybody okay? Do you want to do this? We just kind of do our own thing, but we like so many of the same things. It makes it even better. So speaking of that, I also picked up Anyway, y'all, uh, don't get me wrong. I love my new camera, but it does not give you warning when the battery is about to die. It's just like you're talking and then it says, uh, time to charge the battery. Bloop. And that's it. Like, really? Can I get a countdown? Can I get some blinking something? Or maybe it does do that and I just don't know what I'm looking for. But I believe before I was so rudely interrupted, we were talking about, um, you know, just how easy vacation is with my brother and sister-in-law and how we can just chill. So with that being said, I picked up a couple of games because we like to play games, fun stuff. Um, this is Black Card Revoked. I'm sure y'all have played this before. Um, so I'm going to try to get a lot of footage while I'm there. But um, hopefully I'll get some while we're playing this. But, you know, sometimes you get caught up in all the fun and excitement. You forget that you are a vlogger. But I'm going to try to get that. And then this is Black Owned. And it's um, the Drinking Party Card Game Black TV Movie Edition 1988 to 19. 95 so and it's two black tv shows and two movies and so it'll be asking those kind of questions so i think that will be fun i love games like this where there's not a whole lot of rules you don't have to be managing a board counting money you know i'm just again a woman of a certain age with not a whole lot of bandwidth left so i don't have time for a bunch of rules and regulations let's just read some stuff and have fun so i'm gonna be taking these with me as well so I have a mess here now and um, I think I have pretty much narrowed it down to exactly what I'm going to be taking with me. Um, this is going to be an easy trip so I'm not going to stress about it too much. I'm just going to take enough stuff to cover myself every day while I'm there. I'm not going to stress out about, you know, too much more. It is what it is. I got to grab a couple of bathing suits. I have tons of those. My sister has a really nice pool at her house. So hopefully we'll be having some pool time. It's supposed to rain like every day, but going to take my bathing suits just in case. Um, but yeah, easy peasy, nothing major. And that's the way I like it. So I'm going to tell y'all bye for now. Um, We'll probably pick you up back in the car in the morning, but most of the travel vlog will probably be where? 
on the hallway channel. So what's that mean? Y'all need to first, if you haven't already, hit subscribe here and like this video if you liked it so that YouTube will tell more people about the videos because they'll know if you like it, surely there are other people who like it. And then after you do that, and I know I'm asking for a lot, but I'm your girl, Stay Hall. Y'all don't mind doing it for me. Jump over to the hallway and you can just look us up at the hallway and subscribe to that channel so you can really see what's going on with your girl all the time and you'll be able to see a lot of this Mobile Alabama trip over on that channel so until tomorrow morning guys peace out hey y'all so it's not exactly Friday morning um, Friday afternoon early afternoon we are on the road kind of sort of headed to Mobile got on my comfy little fit I was telling y'all about worked out perfect but we have decided to make a quick stop to where of all places not your normal road stop place but to ikea because i noticed when we were in mexico my brother-in-law really was digging it when our coffee or espresso or whatever came with the froth with the foam on it and Ikea has an awesome little frother, so I wanted to pick that up for him. And we need little road snacks, so we love the Swedish meatballs here at Ikea, so figure kind of kill two birds with one stone. So we are headed inside Ikea. Okay, so Operation Ikea was a success. Got the meatballs. We were in and out, how bad? Like in and out like a robbery. <laughs> Meatballs, nice and fresh. Actually got a couple of cinnamon rolls, which um, of course are not on the eating plan, but they're it's the, holiday. They're on the traveling plan. They road are on trip, the traveling road plan. Road trip plan, there we go. Yes, my husband told me that um, calories and carbs don't count when you're on the road, so we shall see. Got the frother, and so we are now officially headed to Mobile, Alabama. So I hope you and guys enjoyed this vlog, getting ready with me, doing all the prep, all the way up to the actual road. I really appreciate y'all. Cause you know what, when I have to do things like this and especially like packing and different stuff when he's at work and you know, I'm dealing with this empty nester thing, it makes it a lot easier to have y'all to talk to. Even though in the moment, I'm talking to myself, I still know I'm talking to y'all. So guys, once again, thank you. I love you to bits and pieces. Always remember to love one another, but never forget to love your life. L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first explicitly. I'll see y'all in the next one.